Well, this is the place. Your Majesty! Ugh, I'd recognize that loud, annoying voice anywhere. What is it, Postman? I'm here to give you today's mail. Here you go. I was told this was a very important letter. Wait, a letter? You gotta be kidding me. I have to read this stupid stuff? Well, yeah, that's kind of the point, Your Majesty. Ugh, but I'm not in the mood to read. In fact, I never really am, but anyways, Gerald! I came as soon as you called me, Your Majesty. I need you to read this letter for me. Well, all right then. Let's see here. Greetings, King Smoothcheeks of the Piggy Kingdom. It is I, the leader of the freest and greatest nation, the United States of America. Due to your previous actions whilst on holiday in foreign countries, we see you and your entire kingdom as the number one threat to our nation's security. And if you are unable to prove that your kingdom means no harm, we will be forced to launch a... They crossed out invasion and wrote special military operation. Wait, what? They want to invade my kingdom? Why? Well, I just said it. Due to your actions in foreign countries, they see you as a threat. <laughs> What evidence do they have? Well, there is the fact that you got arrested in London, started a crisis in the Netherlands, stolen various artifacts from a Belgian hotel, and also bankrupted a British hotel. So what? That was only, like, a year ago? Man, I am old. Well, a year isn't really that long ago, and when it comes to these humans, especially if it's something tragic, they never forget it. Well, what do we do? Well... There's only one thing we can do. We'll have to go to the United States of America and convince the president not to invade. Wait, does this mean I get to go on vacation? Well, technically, yes, your majesty, but yippee! I'm going on vacation. I'm going on vacation. <coughs> Attention, citizens of my glorious kingdom. I have a special announcement to make. The leader of the small and not well-known country of the United States is threatening to invade us. Wait, Wait what? what? I know. Shocking, isn't it? Me and my team will be going to America to meet the president. Wish me luck, everyone, as the fate of this kingdom is in my hands. Well, we're doomed. I best be off now, but I have one last thing to say to you all. You all smell. Anyway, goodbye. <sighs> well... We finally made it to the airport. Yeah, but the bad news is, our flight's in ten minutes! <sighs> what I say, gentlemen, we got here just in the nick of time. Mm, we're just waiting on His Majesty. Uh-oh. <laughs> Come on, Your Majesty, you can do it! <laughs> <sighs> oh, that's our flight. Let's get going, chaps. Ugh, I have to do more walking? Well, we made it on the plane. Surely they could have given us better seats than this. I barely have any room. Worst of all, there's no TV. How am I supposed to watch the Tower of Fortune without a TV? Look at them. All those tiny people. It makes me feel so powerful. Like I can do anything. <laughs> okay, I'll admit, their architecture is pretty impressive. Take notes, poor man. And we've landed. Well, we're off the plane. Oh, jeez. It's really hot here. Well, you're gonna have to get used to it. Now, come on, let's go get our taxi. This is the room. Sean! Leonard! Leonard! Ah! Oh, Geez, that was a bit violent, wasn't it, son? What do you think you're doing here, Leonard? Ugh. Well, I was here first. I decided to visit here when I was on my travels. And you just happened to be in the room that we were put in. Coincidence? I think not! This was all a plot by you to further ruin my life, Leonard. Well, uh... Not really. And on top of all of that, you had the audacity to claim the big bed. Everybody knows that the big bed is mine, and the rest of the poor people go on the sofa bed. Aw, uh, I wanted the big bed. Well, your majesty, perhaps I could provide an alternative. What are you talking about, corporal? Perhaps we should decide who gets the bed like they did in the good old days. <gasps> 
You don't mean. Oh, yes, I do. We fight for it. Last one standing gets ownership over the bed. Oh, dear, that sounds rather barbaric. And, Your Majesty, considering how powerful and strong you are, you're pretty much guaranteed the bed. Oh, yeah. You're right. <laughs> All right, everybody, let's do it. We're going to fight for the bed. Oh, I'm joining in too. I used to be quite the champion at this in my time, so maybe I've still got it in me. Shut up, old man. Of course you don't. All right, everybody, you know how this works. Get to your designated section of the bed and wait until I say go. All right, is everybody ready? Yes, Corporal. Three, two, one. Fight! Oh dear, how uncivilized! Oh, 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 oh. No, 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 no! <laughs> One down, four to go. Oh, more like two down, three to go. Well, well, well. Leonard! I'm sorry I have to do this, Foreman. Well, may the best old man win. Oh, 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 oh. His belly, it's too round. Oh, 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 time to use my specialty. Belly floor! Oh, no. Ah! <laughs> Where do you think you're going, Leonard? Oh, I say! Oh, ah. oh dear! Oh. 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 I don't believe my eyes. Gerald won. By doing absolutely nothing! Well, fighting isn't really my specialty. Ugh, I'm too tired for this. I'm gonna have an early night. Gerald, make me the sofa bed! Oh, of course, Your Majesty. The sofa bed is all set up and ready, Your Majesty. Whoa, that was quick. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go sleep on the big bed. You just had to rub it in, didn't you? Uh, good morning, everyone. Did we have a good rest? Uh, that was one of the worst sleeps of my entire life. Well, you know, personally, I had quite the good sleep. Well, we can't all be perfect, can we, Leonard? Say, son, I was wondering, why did you come to the United States in the first place? Oh, we're here to meet with the president so he doesn't destroy our entire island. Hmm, very interesting. Although, we still have a week until we meet with the president. Yeah, and I'm already kind of bored. There's only so much you can do in a hotel room. Yeah, you're right. There's got to be something we can do to pass the time. Well, son, it just so happens you're sleeping with a travel expert. I know all the sights you can see in Washington. Really? Like what? Well, there's the Air and Space Museum. A very fascinating museum, I must say. Ugh, air, space, boring. I think we should go, Your Majesty. It'll be a good learning opportunity. And afterwards, we can go see the sights of Washington. Ooh, that would be cool. Yes, that sounds like a positively splendid idea. Well, we're here. Come on, Your Majesty. Hold on. That's a plane. I could use that thing to get out of here. <laughs> Soon I'll be out of this place for good. Ooh! You stupid plane. It's weird. Where's the pilot? Wait, hold on. This stupid thing was an exhibit? <laughs> Those stupid museum people deceived me. Whoa. Foreman, when we get back, I want you to make this for me immediately. Hey, those planets look like that green guy over there. Who said that? Ah, time for the best part of this whole thing. You know, Foreman, I'd say it was worth it for this. I say, that's why jolly old Abraham Lincoln was assassinated. This is where the assassination happened. Gee, I hope none of us get assassinated. That would be pretty bad, wouldn't it? Roth, shut up. That is the fattest squirrel I have ever seen in my entire life. Whoa, that's pretty tall. 
Hmm, it's a park. Why don't we go check it out? Oh, that is one of the most unusual things I've ever seen in my entire life. And I know Ross. And that thing too, like, like what is up with this place? <laughs> it's a giant spider, run! <laughs> Look, it's a big swimming pool. Wait, your majesty, Doc. Too late. Ah, oh. yeah. Stupid security guard ruined my fun. Hey there, buddy. What's on your mind? Oh, don't be afraid to tell me what you're thinking. I'm not a judgmental person. This park is just plain weird. I don't like it here. I want to leave. It's just someone expressing their creative freedom, your majesty. What's wrong with that? Everything. I don't like people having freedom. <sighs> That was a busy day. Well, it's gonna be even busier the next few days, your majesty. Why? Because you need to convince the president not to invade Piggy Island, of course. Oh, yeah, I forgot. <sighs> Tell you what, Foreman, I'll try and think of something tomorrow, okay? All right, your majesty. I gotta go rest in bed. So, Foreman, what's the plan? Well, we could try and win over people in the Senate. The Senate? Yes. If we convince enough people in the Senate that invading us is a bad idea, well, the President won't be able to. That is an excellent idea, Foreman. Now, where is this Senate located, exactly? In the Capitol building. Where is the Capitol at? I'll show you. I can just make out the Capitol building up ahead. I have to climb up all these stairs? In this weather? I don't think I can make it up. Nonsense. You'll get up. Come on. <sighs> Finally up all those stairs. <sighs> okay, guys. It's time. Let's go in. Make sure to not say anything too egregious, Your Majesty. Of course I won't, Foreman. You might not know, but they do call me Mr. Good Opinions for a reason. Okay, so Congress has got to be around here somewhere. Hey, this is a cool room. Whoa. Ooh, kind of getting dizzy now. Wait, what was I even here for in the first place? Oh yeah, I was supposed to be talking to Congress. <laughs> I forgot. Good afternoon, people of Congress. It is I, King Smooth Cheeks of the Piggy Kingdom. Now, before I tell you the reason why I'm here, I'd just like to say a few things. You know, I've been in America for a few days and I'm not the biggest fan of this whole democracy thing, you know? I think America would be way better with an absolute monarchy. Right, guys? What are you talking about? Why are you booing me? I'm right! This smelly nation needs some big authoritarian figure to keep all the poor people in line! Hey! Hey! Stop booing me! So, how'd it go? Well, let's just say the entire Senate hates me now. Well, I guess we're just gonna have to face the President alone. Now let's change subject to other matters, particularly the bed problem. I think we're all fed up with Gerald having the big bed. Words cannot describe how comfortable I am in this bed right now. It's about time we do something about it. What do you propose we do, son? When did you get here, Leonard? Oh, I've been listening very intently. Yeah, whatever. I suggest tomorrow night we stage a revolution. How are we going to do that? Hmm, that's the tricky part. Why don't we go brainstorm plans now? Hmm, let's go do that, as long as I'm not the one doing the thinking. So everyone, do we have any ideas? Oh, I have an idea. Why don't we just ask him nicely to leave? What? No, that's stupid. From now on, Ross, you're banned from providing ideas. Aw, oh, dang it. Why don't we strap dynamite to the bed and blow up Gerald? Uh, wouldn't that blow up the bed too? Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Everyone, everyone, please, leave the thinking to the master. Oh, really? And what ideas have you been cooking up, Leonard? It's a simple plan, but very effective. Why don't we just send Gerald out for a few hours, and while he's gone, we take over the bed. I'm ashamed to admit that's kind of a good idea. But where do we send him? It's got to be a place that's just far away enough that he doesn't come back too soon. Hmm. How about Virginia? What's Virginia? It's a neighboring state. Why don't we just send Gerald over there for a few hours? I'd say we have ourselves a plan. What do you think, your majesty? 
Fine, we'll try it. But if this fails, I'm blaming you, Leonard. Oh, don't you worry your head one bit, son. It'll go exactly the way I want it to. Hey, Gerald, what's up? Oh, heavens. What's going on, Your Majesty? Well, Gerald, we've always appreciated you helping us out and all that kind of stuff, so we've decided to reward you by giving you a free trip to, um, uh... Oh, Virginia, yeah, Virginia. You'll get to see all the sights. Yeah, and then you can come back home to your nice, cozy bed. Oh, that sounds positively delightful. How am I going to get there? You'll get there by ferry. It arrives at noon, so I'd advise you to get dressed now. Well, all right then. I was checking the weather and it said it might rain today, so I'll put on my special hat just in case. You look stupid in that. Well, I best be going now. Goodbye, everyone. I'll see you tonight. Goodbye, Gerald. <laughs> Hmm, my ferry's got to be around here somewhere. Well, I'm on. Now this is wonderful. Going along the river at a nice, leisurely pace and enjoying the view. I have officially landed in Virginia. I say, that's a rather peculiar object. Ah, it's a model of a meteor. That makes sense. I think. Well, might as well go for a stroll around the town. That's a lovely looking fountain. Oh heavens, that flag is enormous. Those Americans do love showing their national pride. <sighs> it's starting to rain now. I think I should probably get back to Washington. The lads are probably missing me now. Everyone, I'm back. I had a smashing time in Virginia and... What? What's going on here? Revolution, Gerald. That's what's going on here. We are taking control of the bed. From now on, the bed is mine. Hold on a second. I thought I was going to have the bed. I thought it was going to be me. I thought we agreed I was going to have the bed. Nobody said that, Ross. Yeah, I guess you're right. Well, if we can't come to some kind of agreement, I guess no one can have the bed. But, eh, I guess so. Better that than you having it. <sighs> I'm already regretting my decision. <sighs> <sighs> Oh, you guys are already up? We thought we'd let you have the extra sleep before you have to meet with the president. And on top of the fact, you'd probably throw us out the window if we woke you up. Right you are, Foreman. Anyways, what time do I meet with the president? Twelve o'clock. We'll walk you down to the White House to make sure you get there safely. Oh, okay. That gives me just enough time to have some food. Well, it's starting to drizzle now, but I'd rather be mildly wet than insanely hot. <sighs> Where's the White House? I have no idea where it is. Oh, there it is, the White House. I finally found it. Mission accomplished. Well, sort of, Your Majesty. You still kind of need to go in there and give your speech and all that kind of stuff. <sighs> it's the little steps that count for me, Foreman. It's the little steps that count. Well, this is it. The President is right in that building. Good luck, Your Majesty. We're rooting for you. Well, no, duh. Who else would you be rooting for? King Smooth Cheeks is here to speak with you, Mr. President. Send him in. Hello, Mr. President. Ah, after all this time, King Smooth Cheeks, we finally meet in person. Please, have a seat. Oh, uh, of course. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, would you like somebody to help you with that? No, no, I can manage it on my own. There we go. Now, Smooth Cheeks, let's begin with the discussion. A discussion that will determine the future of our nations. All right, then. Where do we start? Well, why don't we start with the reason I believe you was a threat to our security in the first place? There seems to be a little bit of a pattern. You go on holiday abroad, you stay there for a few weeks, and then you go home, leaving a trail of destruction behind you. Oh, really? Well, that's just a bunch of baloney. You've been causing problems over here, too. Do you remember the hate speech that you were spreading in Congress? Oh, me saying that America should become an absolute monarchy? Yes, how dare you, a diplomat, that I myself, invited to this country, start criticizing my government? Despicable. 
It was just some constructive criticism, man. Jeez, no need to get so butthurt over it. It may sound like constructive criticism to you, but to me, it's a whole lot worse. This could start a revolution! And that'll be yet another crisis added to the list of ones you've caused. And it will continue to grow until I put my foot down. And you can't convince me otherwise, Smooth Cheeks. It's over. I'm not gonna let you further ruin the world that I helped shape. Whoa, whoa, whoa! It doesn't have to come to this! Oh, it can. And it will. I will rally up every single soldier in this nation and begin a full-on assault on your kingdom! And now that it's come to this, I can't let you return to your silly little island. Security, arrest him! Wait, no, 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 no. This happens. I'll be a failure. I will have lost my entire nation. Oh, no. No, it can't be over. There's still gotta be a way to win him over. Wait, win him over? That's it! Mr. President, I have an idea! Oh, really? Well, you can continue to think about that idea once you've been put in a maximum security prison. No, 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 this is serious. What if we made you a nice holiday home on Piggy Island? Piggy Island is a nice, tropical place. What if we built you a nice home on the beach, and in return, you won't invade us? Hmm, interesting. I've been needing a new holiday destination. My minions are excellent workers. They'll create an amazing house in under a day with hardly any pay. Hmm, you know what? Now that I think about it, it doesn't sound like such a bad idea. I would question the ethics involved in building the house, but as long as we're on good terms, I'll let it slide. So, you accept my offer? Yes, Smooth Cheeks. I accept. Yes. Yes! Uh, I mean, um, thank you, Mr. President. I'll be on my way now. Oh dear. Ugh. Well, that was inconvenient. Uh, anyways, I'll be on my way now. Excellent. Goodbye, Smooth Cheeks. And goodbye to you too, Mr. President. I did it. <laughs> uh, I did it. I gotta go tell the others. Ooh, here they come. I am on the edge of my seat right now. <sighs> Guys. We did it! Yippee! How oh, splendid! You had me fooled there for a second! Good work, son. I'm proud of you. Yeah, yeah, anyways, I'm off to bed. Ah, uh, yes, we probably should go to bed. After all, we have to be up very early in the morning to catch our flight home. Ah, <sighs> it's been fun, but all good things must come to an end. Show everyone, are we all ready? Yes, yes it was Majesty. Majesty. Okay. Let's go. Goodbye, everyone. It was a pleasure being your host here. Yes, and goodbye to you too, Leonard. <sighs> it was fun having them, but now I have the big bed all to myself. Ah. Oh. Here we go, guys. It's the moment of truth. Almost time to take off. And here we go. And we're up! <laughs> Goodbye America, and hello Piggy Island!